What a privilege to know that God hears our prayer. And do you know why? God is love. You know, in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 14 to 21, Paul offered a prayer to the Ephesian church that is both inspiring and engaging. He prays that we would be strengthened with the power through his spirit in our inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the scent what is the breath and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. This prayer is very relevant in our challenging day. We somehow know that it will remind us the source of our strength and hope, and that is in Christ Jesus. When we are rooted and grounded in Christ's love, we are able to face any challenges that comes our way. And here are some specific ways that you can apply that prayer that Paul prayed for the Ephesian church for your life today. Number one, spending time in God's word. You know, the Bible is God's love letter to all of us, and it is filled with promises and encouragement. When we read God's word regularly, we are reminded of who God is and how much he loves us. Number two, praying regularly. Pray, for me, it is an intentional invitation for God to become involved in our own situation, as well as being a two-way communication with Him. It is a way for us to express our need and our desire to Him, and it is also a way for us to listen very carefully to His voice. When we pray regularly, we are strengthened by God's Spirit and we grow as well in our relationship with Him. Number three, getting involved in a local church. A church is a community of believers who support and encourage one another. And when we are connected to a local church, we are surrounded by people who love and care for us and are also willing to pray with and for us. Number four, serving one another. When we serve others, we are putting God's love in action. Serving others also helps us to grow in our own character and to become more like Christ. And here are also some examples of how we can glorify God in our individual challenges, local community, workplace, and also all around the world. Number one, individual challenges. Well, when we are facing a difficult challenge in our life, we can glorify God by trusting Him and seeking His guidance and wisdom. We can also glorify God by sharing our own stories with others and by encouraging them to trust in Him as well. Number two, local community. We can glorify God in our local community by getting involved in a local church and by serving our neighbours. We can also glorify God by advocating for justice and compassion in our communities. Number three, in our workplace, we can glorify God in our very own workplace by being honest, hardworking and ethical. We can also glorify God by being kind and compassionate to one another. Number four, all around the world. Yes, we can actually glorify God all around the world by supporting missionary and other organizations that are working to spread the gospel and help those very much in need. We can also glorify God by praying for God's real peace that surpasses all understanding and justice to prevail in our broken world today. 
No matter where we are and what we are doing, we can always glorify God by living our life in a way that pleases God. When we glorify God, we are ultimately bringing honor and glory to His Son, Christ Jesus. So today, be inspired by Paul's prayer and engage in the challenges of our world, but with confidence and real hope. God bless you.